Stella, are you kind of drinking stuff. out of a sippy cup? <laughs> no, it's a shaker. Okay, okay. Martinis? I wish. Should we talk about this? This movie, I guess? No. It was like Adam Sandler's new movies. Where he's like, he tried to make the obvious joke that's really just not that funny. The parts that were funny are obviously their skits that they do on the TV show. Talk, like I had some chuckles there. Something like when I first started watching Impractical Jokers on TV, it was hysterical. Yeah. And then it progressively got over and over and over done. They could only do like, it for so long before people, people noticed know. them. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know where they're going anymore to try to find people that don't know who they are. Another thing uh, they could have done like, is they could have taken Paula Abdul. Out of the whole entire movie. For, Not, for the people at home, obviously, we're talking about the impractical, the impractical <laughs> jokers movie. <laughs> impractical. That was this week's assignment. And again, it was mine. I'm sorry. Student. Yeah, Jay is zero for two with shit movies. I am. Or I think I think the most disappointing part was the fact that I had to pay twenty dollars <laughs> for. It. You paid twenty dollars for That's, that. Yeah, That's Ben. How much it is? Ben's like, wait. You gotta get Jay's Amazon account. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you go into like a tourist shop down, you know, like in Florida or whatever, and you're hammered, and all the shelves are super close together, and you knock something off, and you have to buy it because you <laughs> broke it. That's a good. I don't know if that metaphor worked there. That, I just kind of threw it in. That there. makes sense. That, right? you, knock, you knock the ugliest looking sculpture off the wall, and it broke. And you're like, oh my god! Yeah, I gotta buy that. And it's a hundred and eighty-five dollars. And that- I, I still think the show's uh, pretty funny. You yeah, can't cause... translate that to a movie, and their plot was was trash. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's terrible. It's kind of oh, like yeah, something they... they thought of in like like a day, like in five minutes. Afternoon. They're yeah. like, yeah, so it was. This is how it went. Yeah. Hey, let's do a movie. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. People like, let's, what hey. should we do? I feel like there was a net network executive that was like, hey, guys, your show, wildly popular. It makes my kids laugh every night. <laughs> we got to do a movie. Now, we already got Paul Abdul signed up. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> we have to fit her in somehow. And then Q was like, I mean, I suppose we could put together a movie. When do you want to start shooting it? And he said, how yeah. about today? <laughs> how, about right. the, how about after lunch? Okay, you guys, if you had to rate from from funniest to non-funniest, who's your, uh, the Jokers? Ben. Sal's, Sal's my favorite. Joe. Okay. And tied for dead last between Murr and Q. What's yours, Tony? I'd say Sal, Q, Joe, Murr. You know, I think, I think their funniness rating kind of correlates to what they're doing. Because, you know, my, my favorite ones are the uncomfortable uh, re- yeah. reception desk at an office. Or when they're taking food off of people's plates on a yeah. all-you-can-eat buffet, that I think would be the most uncomfortable thing. Now my kid, he thought the whole he thought that movie was comedy gold. Huh? Yeah, of course. My, my kid would have gave it three dimes, no problem. My kid's dad, he's gonna give it one dime. Yeah, it was watchable, it but but not watchable again. Yeah, I think the only part I really enjoyed, I thought the cave scene was. Okay, but just that was he... that was in last season. That wasn't part of the movie. I'm glad that they just fucking reused, you know, clips. Fantastic. That was the last episode I seen before me and Spectrum uh, parted ways. Sounds yeah. like you're talking yeah. about a, like a, a a girl or something. I Survivor. want you to stop and pause and tell me what girl you know named Spectrum. I mean, a dancer. You that... date a lot of anime. You, did you date a lot of anime characters, Jay? <laughs> A, a dancer that gives you free Wi Fi. That's, a, that's, a, that's actually yeah. not a bad deal. That's a pro. <laughs> I'll give it a, a dime and I'll never watch it again. Uh, I'm going to give it seven cents. It totally broke my heart. Yeah. 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 No, I would never watch it again. One of the one of the most accurate things they said in it was they were talking about we're going to make a movie. And they said, yeah, that'll be. Uh, three and a half stars on IMDb. And I I looked it up. I just Googled the movie right when they said that. And if you Google it, it came in at like 3.2 stars. Really? That's a, you know. that's even a stretch. Well, you know. I give it, well, I guess not many people are watching it or rating it. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I don't know. Let's let's just move on. I think I think it is what it is. Sorry, fans. You know, we'll get you some good movie advice. I promise. We'll we'll start recommending good ones. Well, we did pretty we did, soon. We did the Tiger King, and who was was that? Oh, that was Ben's. In our defense, um, we didn't have a choice for Tiger King. Tiger King chose us. This guy's <laughs> we got a we got a new segment this week. Tony. All right. So I just uh, I just grabbed two uh, news stories that I thought were interesting to me. Teenager killed during Adidas Adidas Yeezy sneaker deal. Adidas Yeezy sneaker deal on what Craigslist? Yeah, pretty much. Does it go into more detail? Like what? Where was yeah, he? Tragic death of an 18-year-old girl in Miami was the result of a sneaker transaction gone bad last Tuesday. Had arranged a meetup on social media to sell three pairs of Yeezys for $935. During the encounter, one of the buyers asked to try the shoes on while the other one approached from behind and opened fire on the seller. And they're not supposed to be doing that stuff with uh, the quarantine lockdown keep space between how are you going to give someone's you know pay pay money for a shoe being six feet apart you like crumple it up the, the hundred dollar bills and throw them at them you, you can use venmo there's a lot of ways that was not the argument there's a lot of arguments to make, yeah that was not it. <laughs> well you can't okay so what you do when you're telling me you can use venmo is you're standing next to them ready i'm going to send you venmo and click a button and then you get the venmo yeah what if you just all of a sudden cancel it right away and run with the shoes no, once you send it, you can't cancel it. Are you sure? You back. Positive. Yeah. I've been paid from a random person 20 bucks. Okay. And then they messaged me and said, hey, that was not meant for you. Can you right, pay well, me you know back? What? When you got to pay with cash and you don't know who it is, what would you do? What do you mean? Crumple it up and throw it at him. I, I just put it down and then say, you can pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Here, come get it while the wind blows it away and it's fucking gone. What? <laughs> now there's wind. Now there's wind. <laughs> yeah, there can be wind. Wind comes from nowhere. I, I'm just saying, you're blowing this out of nowhere. I mean, here, you put the, the, the money underneath the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, that's a pretty easy fix here, Jim. What is I mean, I mean $935. Wait rolled up and paper clipped together that's got some weight to it all right don't sell fucking shoes on facebook so i think the moral of the story is don't fucking kill people <laughs> like what do you mean i sell stuff on, on on the internet all the time you're, you're never gonna stop the killers if you wanna live, you want to live you don't sell selling expensive stuff shit on the internet. you don't <laughs> sell you don't meet up to, to sell expensive shit you only sell the crappy shit you find at a rummage sale then you know you're not gonna get <laughs> robbed and killed I'm gonna Jay's with, getting bad advice here, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna say you use kids kids clothing with with poop stains on them. I ain't getting shot for that. Um, What's your second story? The Beatles had another auction. Oh, Paul McCartney just auctioned off the handwritten lyrics from the song "Hey Jude." Hey Jude. Bar napkin of Beatles lyrics sold for nine hundred and ten thousand uh, dollars. A lesser known Beatles song um, called "A Day in the Life." John Lennon's handwritten lyrics sold at the same auction a couple years ago for one point two million. So they were Jeez. assuming "Hey Jude" would far surpass that. And that, I hope you guys enjoyed our our new segments. We're gonna move on. To move our on. next segment, which we did last week, we premiered last week, and we're going to continue. Got a lot of great feedback <laughs> internally. <laughs> this is the quick question minute, guys. What animal most closely resembles your eating style? A raccoon. Raccoon and a tiger? Who said yeah. tiger? Yeah. I can see you eating like a tiger. I eat anything man, right yeah. out of a garbage can. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Would you rather not shower for a month or eat the same meal every day for a month? Oh, I've eaten the same meal every day. Yeah, I mean, I would, I'd rather not. Yeah, I'd rather eat the same meal. Even if it's something I chose? Well, what are you going to choose? I choose. Are you going to be a nice guy or a bad guy? Yeah, I would that was part of this. Yeah, I would, choo yeah, I would choose. That was a, not the question. I don't care, but that is, I'm, I'm making extensions to my 
uh, question. So I'd, I'd have a cold hot dog and I'd cut it up and that's all you get. I'll take a hot yeah. dog for a month. Okay. Yeah, hell yeah. Do I okay. get ketchup? No, my, you get the, uh, just the hot dog. Pepper. Okay, then I'm showering. Then I my. want to shower. And I want to choose my own meal. I'm not doing that for a month. Are, <laughs> my, you, the only person that's going to yeah. smell you is, oh. is your girlfriend. Yeah. Well, here's, here's a twist to it, Ben. No, you can only take showers with Jay's hot dog water. <laughs> Why do you guys keep making this worse and worse? What? <laughs> What set of items could you buy that would make the cashier the most uncomfortable? You know, I feel I feel like everybody says, uh, you know, a shovel, duct tape, <laughs> murder kit. Yeah, murder kit. Mine would just be Benadryl and rubbers. I ain't trying to murder nobody. I bought a suction cup dildo, lube, and a bike. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> why, hey Ben, why not throw some baby formula? Would you rather? Would you rather always say everything on your mind or never speak again? I pretty much do that already. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I can not say anything. That's for sure. And I talk too much. What is that? <laughs> would you rather have nosy neighbors or noisy neighbors? So I got I got nosy neighbors on one side of me. And noisy neighbors on the <laughs> other side of me. So which one would you rather have? And honestly, I don't mind want either one of them. Well, yeah, but which no. one do you want to move? Probably hold on to the noisy neighbors. Last question. Would you rather only be able to whisper or be able to shout everything? Which one? They're both uncomfortable. They are. You know? Yeah, if you're whispering, you're basically in the silent zone right now because you have to stay six feet away from each other. You can't <laughs> hear that. All right. Well, how loud are we talking? You up an, another half octave. <laughs> well, like, hey! Yeah, I like that. that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't be that guy. I'm going to go with no. okay, but, then, but then every time you got to talk to a girl, you're going to have like some kind of sexual assault. <laughs> against you. Yeah, you're talking yeah. to some kid, some kid down, <laughs> walking, brought his bike down the street. Hey, hey, your bike has a flat tire on it. <laughs> Come over here. Come Come a little closer. Uh, dude, I got something I to tell know, you. Man, that's a bad one. I'd pr oof. I'm going to go loud, I guess. I'm going whisper. Whisper and loud. Your conversations with each other would be amazing. All right, that's, that, that ends my quick question minute. We have another new segment. Obviously, Jay and Tony are parents. I am not. If you We're going to call this one dogs. parenting. With a 26 year old tony or jay is going to give me a situation that they've had with one of their kids i'm going to say how i would handle it being not a parent sure. and they're going to tell me how they handled it and then wish they handled it how i handled it <laughs> yeah. this week tony what do you all got right. all right i'm going to pull from a situation that happened about two and a half hours ago I told my seven-year-old son to take a one brick at a time all the way into the back of my backyard and set these bricks up to, to frame out the fire pit. One Not brick at a time, one at a time. He's, he's got 20 trips to do. At the end of the 20 or 30 minutes, he had four bricks down there. I let him work independently. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when I came back, you can imagine how surprised I was. And so, this, Matt, how, how would I handle this? What would yeah. you have done? You know, in, in my in my many years of child care, um, I've watched a lot of movies, babysat uh, a couple times. Um, I have dogs. I don't know how similar that is. I think it's very similar. I just pulled a bunch of weed, and then I smoked a bunch of weed, oh, and I yeah. came back, and you only had four. I would scold them, you know? I'd sc give them a nice scolding, and then I would sit there. You know what I would do? I'd tell them to go grab me a chair and a beer and i'd sit there and i'd say i'm not going to leave this spot until you finish laying all that brick and i said uh if you you're grounded Is that what you, you, know, did? you don't even have to tell me but that's pretty much how you handle it right exactly right scenario oh, probably very similar you still got 16 bricks here huh nice. and he goes yeah well you know when i took the third one down I kind of hurt myself a little bit, so I was over here trying to think of a better way to do this. It yielded no results. So do, you have I, a, do you have a dad look? Let me see me. your look, Ben. 
Look, give me the look when you look at your dogs like you're pissed he poops in the house or something. <laughs> I said you got 16 bricks left. Um, how about you take those down there and, uh, very quickly while I go in the house because I'm done with my work and I'll give you $4. Whoa! Trying to bribe yeah. him, man. That you know what he told me? What? I don't really need $4 right now. I've been getting this solid parenting advice. I'm thinking about giving him a flashlight and telling him to go out and finish this shit up. Because I think I'm an expert. Good idea. We're going to come back next week. We're going to find out the conclusion to the fire brick pit. That's our newest segment. We're going to be bringing that back every week. Uh, parents, this is a little bit, it's just to help you guys, you know, me being a 26 year old, I, you know, I was a kid not that long ago, so I know how to connect, you know, I know how to connect. (laughs) So obviously we watched some practical jokers this week. We got to figure out what we're watching next week. Tony's going to tell us what we got to watch next week. So next week I'm thinking, uh, Netflix has a new, new film out, um, called coffee and Kareem. Tune in next week, guys. We're going to be watching coffee and Kareem. Starring Andy from The Office. Look at how fucking intense Ben looks right now. You watching Pornhub? I can't.